I designed a yo-yo with Louis Vuitton and today I'm gonna take you with me to see it at the Louis 200 exhibition here on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Last year, Louis Vuitton selected 200 visionaries to create their own version of the original LV trunk in celebration of Louis Vuitton's 200th birthday. I'm one of the 200 and my piece is displayed right here in this building. I was given complete freedom in the design of my trunk, so I created a one-of-a-kind yo-yo, which you'll see in a minute, fitted in a custom trunk built specifically for it. We might be able to pull it from the display and do a few tricks exclusively for you before it's auctioned off. Let's go find it. Every creation, including mine, will soon be sold at auction to complete the project, with all proceeds going to charity to help give kids around the world access to creative opportunity. As soon as I walked into the exhibition, my video going over my inspiration in creating my trunk was playing in the retail pop-up. The timing couldn't have been more perfect. Before we get to my piece, Eric's gonna give us a quick tour of the rest of the exhibition to see all the incredible other trunks. Let's get started. Let's go! Real quick, as we walk into this room, this is the inspiration room. So when Louis Vuitton first reached out to me to become a part of the Louis 200 project, everything shown in this room is what they pitched to me. It's the perfect intro to the exhibition, but let's keep it going. This warehouse room, we're gonna see about a hundred trunks from all over the world. Check it out, it's Louis right here. Here's the man. Some of the trunks here are just shown in the digital form. So the first part of this project, we were just showcasing our trunk digitally in the windows. As you can see from these clips here, this is what mine looked like. But the next step was this world tour where the physical creations have been flown to some of the most famous cities around the world to be showcased. Check out the Supreme one. Trunk four of 200 is Kim Jones and Supreme. Kim Jones was creative director for Louis Vuitton until 2018, and he was a major playmaker in uniting streetwear with luxury fashion through iconic collaborations with the likes of Supreme. Growing up as a 14-year-old in the world of yo-yo subculture during 2010, Supreme was a big player in what inspired my style and interests. All the yo-yo players I looked up to were rocking it, and if the 14-year-old me would have known that in a decade I would be involved in a project with Louis Vuitton alongside Supreme, he would go crazy. And this is just the first room of the whole exhibit, so my trunk's gonna be coming up in just a bit. Something I love about this trunk too is that it's totally functional, so they actually have a video of them and driving the car that they created. My trunk is so focused on the idea of play and any of the other trunks that are functional and have that childish, playful concept, I just love it. Some of my other favorites in this room were Mr. Flower Fantastic, who uses flowers as his medium to create some of the coolest sculptures I've ever seen, as well as Zad Multaka. This is Louis Vuitton's uh, face, and then when you're looking into this piece, you're basically looking into the mind of a genius oh, of Louis Vuitton. I love that. He knows everything. What's he gonna say about mine? We'll see. How well does he know my trunk? <laughs> I mean, I know that you started yo-yoing at eight years old. Hey, he knows. <laughs> As I made my way to my trunk, here's a few more of my favorites. For Robert Moy's piece, he's a Brooklyn balloon artist. A balloon sculpture coated in epoxy to last forever. This room symbolizes the inside of Robert Moy's trunk. We're getting warmer. My trunk's this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is one of my favorites. And as you can hear, this trunk is an actual jukebox. Check it out. Benji B, one of the world's most respected music curators, repurposed this vintage Louis Vuitton trunk from the 70s into a functional jukebox. I had to throw down a yo-yo freestyle to one of the songs to warm up for when I get to my trunk. On my way to the next room, I found my name on this wall accompanied by the other 199 visionaries. Crazy. Cool about this room is that the striped look here is to pay homage to Louis Vuitton's first ever trunk he ever created. At this point, it all started to hit me different. As I got closer to my trunk, knowing it's being displayed here next to all these legendary visionaries, I felt the same as I did when I was eight years old picking up a yo yo for the first time. My inner child was electric. I love just how this whole exhibition is presented. Each artist put in so much work to create their trunk, but Louis Vuitton has done such a good job too of presenting everyone's piece. Like, look at how cool this is. The first trunk I saw upstairs was Kid Super, who went from selling t-shirts in his high school cafeteria to showcasing his own collection in Paris Fashion Week. Visually, this is one of my favorite trunks for sure. My trunk is just around the corner, but to get to it, we have to walk all the way around, so it won't be long. Here's the BTS trunk. They were all given this trunk. They physically touched this trunk and painted all over it with Sharpie. It's crazy to me seeing that there's a BTS trunk and just going back through the trunks that we've already seen to be a part of this group of 200. It's such an honor. 200 trunks. BTS has one and I have one. And finally, mine's next. All right, my trunk's just right here around the corner. Let's go check it out. There it is. Okay, it's in 
clothes safely. My one-of-a-kind Louis Vuitton yo-yo sitting perfectly in its custom trunk. Engraved with the signature damier pattern with Louis 200 at the center and the Louis Vuitton monogram below. My trunk number 166 represents living a life of play. So let's do just that. 15 years of following my passion has led me to a life I am incredibly grateful for. Growing up, most people didn't understand why I spent so much time playing with yo-yos. I was constantly told I should do something more valuable with my time. But what does that really mean? I believe the most valuable way to spend time is to enjoy it. As children, this is clear to us. But as we grow up and the noise of the world pulls us away from play, that value can be forgotten. A yo-yo is my reminder to never let go of fun, to never let go of being a kid with a colorful and limitless imagination. The yo-yo is the tool that's allowed me to see life like a canvas. If you paint what everyone else says you should, things may work out okay. But if you paint what you want, regardless of what anyone else thinks, that is when your potential becomes infinite. And my creation with Louis Vuitton is an embodiment of this.